I am back with another video. As you can tell from that title below, this is a, I don't even know what the title says right now, so I will let y'all know when I know what the title says. But, y'all, we have a kind of a good day today to do a lot of stuff. So, it is currently like 2 o'clock. I can't even see the time right now. It's like 2 something. I'm going to say it's 2 o'clock on the dot, whatever. Anywho, so I got a couple packages coming today. And... I, when I say a couple, I actually mean a couple. Like I got my duvet is coming, my sheets are coming for my bed, um, my pillow covers are coming for my sofa, uh, my bar stools are coming today, and I think that's it for today. But my shower, um, my shower, uh, my shower, uh, damn, what they call um, shelves? My shower shelves came in yesterday. I put them up last night. I'm waiting on them to, cause it say you can't hang the uh shelves until 24 hours so i'm waiting till the 25 24 hours are up so i can put my shelves up oh i'm so excited for that um y'all i just been ordering a lot of stuff and as you can tell from the last video when i unmade my bed and all that stuff well when i unmade my bed i ordered a new comforter which the duvet and the insert comforter for the duvet and i ordered new sheets which actually all them sheets were a little bit expensive not really not really expensive but for my tax bracket expensive like not not really i've never spent this much on sheets so yeah anyways so yeah like i told y'all like, i got deliveries coming today so that's one thing and then i'm gonna put my bar stools together on camera and i'm gonna show y'all how i set up my how i'm gonna set up my sofa for my with my pillows and oh my throw came yesterday too and my rug so yeah anyways so um after that, I'm going to also take down my hair because I know y'all tired of these crusty ass braids in my head. So I'm going to take these braids down today and wash my hair. And lastly, I am going to the movies to see Saw X. So I'm going to let y'all know how that go. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. But y'all, I'm going to go and go get my packages real quick and I'll come back in. Again. <laughs> I just got back um i already dropped my packages down onto the um counter so i got three of the packages right now which is my duvet and my um sheets and my yeah that's it okay my duvet and my sheets and my pillow covers so right now i got the duvet and the sheets in the washer because you know baby mm, they are in the washer right now so i'm waiting on those to dry and then I really can't even make my bed up until my insert comes for my duvet, which that don't come until tomorrow. So I think I'ma just put an old comforter in there for right now. Um, probably my comforter for my other bed because I washed it, as y'all seen from the video, I washed it. So probably just gonna put that in there for the night. And then when my insert comes, depending on how my insert feels, I might leave both in there. It just depends. Cause they say you're supposed to have two um, comforters in there, so. I might leave both in there for the time being or whatever. But y'all, I'm really, I was really gonna sit here and wait on my bar stools, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start taking down my hair and I'm gonna wash my hair. And then by then my bar stools should have been a cane. So y'all, this is how I have, like, I'm only gonna show y'all this part of the sofa because this is the only thing I've done. Um, because the rest of my pillows haven't came, which they don't come until Wednesday and Thursday. So. Well, they come Wednesday and then the other ones come the next week on a Monday. Um, but I still got to wait on those and I still have to order the pillow covers for the pillows. But also, this is my rug, y'all. Like, yeah, I like my rug. But as for now, this is just what I got right now. And I still got to put pillow covers on these pillows because these are the pillows that came with the sofa. But I'm changing. And... Under the, in these, inside of these pillows are the pillows that came with the sofa. So 
I'm um, changing those out at the moment, but I still got to wait on my other pillows, which I got four 22 by 22 pillows and another four 18 by 18. So, and these right here are 18 by 18. So, um, in all, I have 12 pillows, but nine are going on my sofa and then the other three are going on my bed. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I took my hair down and... You know, I thought my bar stools would have been here by now, but they're not, of course. How we go from between 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. between 1 a.m. between 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. 1 p.m. I mean p.m. 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 But 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. to 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Like, how that work? And now it should arrive before 10 p.m. Bitch, what? How dare you? Like, why would you have me sitting here thinking that I'm finna get my package at three o'clock in the afternoon for my vlog and you go you mean to tell me my package gonna come from 10 before it's time for my movie at 1005 and yes y'all i did schedule my movie for 1005 but that's crazy for me but y'all look i i took down my hair and you know we got some length on us a little bit but we need some more length honestly we just gonna let it grow a little bit more a lot more actually i want my hair to come all the way down like i want i want long hair like my hair used to be so long and if i stop cutting it like every time i get to about this length i always cut my hair back off bald i don't know why i'm not doing it this time but i'm just gonna keep it this like this but y'all another thing i just i so i think in the last clip i told y'all i was gonna come take down my hair but i ended up actually editing a video that y'all gonna see before this one so I was editing a video, y'all, why I have to start all the way over? Like, I made a mistake and deleted it off my computer, and so now I have to start over. And that shit pissed me the fuck, the fuck off, so that's why I came and took down my hair, because I slammed that fucking computer shut, and I came and started taking down my hair, because, no, I, I don't feel like redoing that right now. So I'm going to redo it after I like, finish washing my hair and get out the shower and all that stuff. So, y'all, I'm finna wash this little, my little hair. Oh, my God. And I hate all this damn grease that be in my hair. Like, my hair be so damn greasy. But um, I'm finna wash my hair. And I'll see y'all when I get done washing my hair. Okay, so y'all, I washed my hair. Now I'm finna blow dry it and try to style with, try to do something to it. I don't really know what I'm finna do to it. But I'll start this back up once I figure out what I'm finna do to my hair. So y'all, I am dressed and my bar stool ceiling came. So I just decided to get dressed and we're finna head out somewhere because I'm not finna sit in this house and wait all day to for some bar stools. And y'all know that was the main reason, well not really the main reason, but that was one of the reasons for this vlog. So whenever my bar stools come, it'll just be in the, it'll be in here. If I feel like, you know, um, them together on camera because honestly if these if them things get here like eight o'clock or nine o'clock or eight o'clock or anything other than like within the next five minutes they just gonna have to get done when i come back from the movies or something i really don't know i hope they don't come i don't know i hope they come today but it's really irking my nerves so at this point they might as well come out the movie because what else am i gonna do but y'all as y'all can see uh, yeah i took my hair down and i got my hair in the Y'all don't even want to see what's under this hat. I promise y'all, y'all don't. It's really, really crazy. But we made it work. I look good. And that's all that matters. So, y'all, I'll start this back up when I, you know, figure out what I'm going to do exactly. And then we'll figure it out. Okay, so y'all, why did I just think that so y'all remember i told y'all my bar stool was supposed to be coming today so <laughs> i seen the amazon man the amazon truck so i'm thinking like you know maybe he got my bar stools and let me go ahead and see if he got them before i leave and then you know he delivering them and i'm leaving so i go to this man truck y'all first of all i'm already so i'm already so embarrassed telling the story but I go to this man's truck and I say, excuse me, do you have, you know, a package for Darren Hooper? Like, you know, just ask him, to, do he have a package for me? And then he was like, um, what's the name again? He was like, I was like, I told him my name. And then he was like, man, I don't know. You're going to have to check and wait to see. And I'm like, 
sir, don't piss me off. I guess he thought like I was joking, like it was like I really ain't have a pack. You know how people be like, "What you got for me, man?" What you, you know, like how people be playing. So I don't know if he thought that was what I was doing, but no, bitch, I, that's not what I was doing. I was really asking about my motherfucking package, and so he was like, um, <clears throat> he was like, uh, is it? Did it say it got delivered yet? And I'm like, no, um, and no. He asked me for my apartment number, so I gave him my apartment number, and then he was like, well, not that I can see, and then he went on he went on the truck which i'm gonna enter this clip but he went onto the truck and he was he went on the truck and looked and he was like nah man i ain't got it and i was like oh okay thank you though i'm sorry and then i went on about my life but that's just so embarrassing to me because what the fuck is my package i need a motherfucking like my package was supposed to be delivered earlier today so how are we still not in this five or, no six it's six o'clock and i still ain't got no motherfucking package and it's crazy to me because where y'all at? Like, what what else do y'all have to do besides deliver my package? I mean, I know y'all got other packages to deliver, but how long that's gonna take? Because I got shit to do, and so I just I just feel like they need to give me the time, the day by day, the package by package. Like they need to give me the whole motherfucking people route, like so I can know where they at. Like I need everything. Like I need to know. What time you leaving the, the Amazon facility? Who house you going to first? The next house, then my house. Like who? How, what? In what order are you going? Like what chronological order? Like I need they got damn the map, the GPS they using, and how I, all of that. So y'all, I'm driving. I'm trying to also see where I'm going to get something to eat from because, like I said, it's six o'clock and I ain't got nothing to really do but the movie. So I'm finna grab me something to eat and then I'm going to the movie like i already paid for my ticket so i really would have just switched my ticket and went to the movies at seven but it's too late i already paid for my ticket and i can refund i can cancel it and refund it but i don't want to do that i'm just gonna go to the movie that i selected um i'm trying to see so it's a mexican restaurant i really want some mexican food but i'm trying to see if it's a better option somewhere right here so don't you bring your motherfucking ass out here I hate to whoop both of y'all ass. So, no. Let's see. Okay, he got a movie theater right here. Literally, oh, I can't see. I can't, I don't know if somebody coming, but I'm gonna take my chances, okay? Okay. Okay, so y'all, sorry, my sister had called me, that's why I stopped, but I decided to go to Burger Barn right here, and what's crazy, y'all, is Burger Barn is right here next to the movie theater, so I'm just like, maybe I'm gonna go home after I get Burger Barn, because it's only like 6 o'clock, still like 6 something, so maybe by the time I eat Burger Barn, my fucking package have been, been delivered, and I can go home and put my bar stools together, and... By the time I get done putting my bar stools together, it'll be time for me to go to the movie. Okay, whatever. I don't know. But y'all, y'all, I'm finna go in. So we'll see how this, we'll see how this food tastes. Okay, so y'all, I bet the lightning here look ass as fuck, but I'm trying this place, like I told y'all, Burger Barn, and I got a Hawaiian burger with no Swiss cheese and it come with honey sriracha and I got that shit taken off too. And it come, I added lettuce. Um, and I got the bacon, I got the bacon cheese fries. And I should've asked for a side of ranch, but I'm gonna ask when they come over here and I'm gonna, uh... but yeah, I'm gonna, y'all, there's a little noise in here, so I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but I'll, I'll um, show y'all my food. Okay, so y'all, I'm back at home. Um, I made it home about like at least like 20 minutes ago, but I, I was sending the car until literally just now. But y'all, look, I see the Amazon truck outside. So I don't know. I hope this the man with my damn package. I think it is because this is the second Amazon truck. How many more Amazon trucks got to come out here before my package comes? So I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to wait. 
and hopefully he has my package but um it's like seven o'clock right now so i still got like three hours to wait for this movie somebody please tell me why the fuck i picked this late ass movie like i had something to do I actually did have something to do. I wanted to put these bar stools together. So I'm going to put these motherfucking bar stools together because it better be this motherfucking man. But I'm going to let him carry the motherfucking bar stools upstairs because I don't really, that's why I can't bring my ass in the house because if he do got it, I don't want. I don't really want to come, I don't want to bring the motherfuckers upstairs so he can bring them upstairs. But I'll start y'all, I'll, I'll let y'all know if it be him or not. I guess what came, I'm not going to really show y'all the whole box because I'm going to try to know my address and all that stuff, but I'm going to show y'all just like the box, whatever. So my package was hundred a number my package was number 116. That's why it took so motherfucking long. But I told y'all it was that man that I just seen. But he took so motherfucking long to bring the motherfucking package up the motherfucking stairs. It took him like, uh, uh, it took him like three hours and a gajillion years to bring it up the stairs. So I don't really like that. But anyway, I'm going to put this start putting it together. I'm going to let y'all see what it looking like. Okay, so guys my movie starts in literally 35 minutes so i'm about to change into some sweats some joggers maybe sweats joggers whatever you want to call it in a hoodie and i'm bringing me a jacket i mean not a jacket i'm bringing me a, a blanket because i'm gonna go to this movie theater and be very very comfortable and diamond they can't hear you because you're in my airpod but diamond said hey vlog <laughs> um but yeah so I'm gonna change into some sweats and my little hoodie and head to the movie theater. Oh, y'all, my hair coming out. I don't like that. Okay, so y'all don't mind a loud ass dryer, but um, as y'all can see, I switched clothes. Switched into something comfortable because I, if I'm going to the movie, I wanna be comfortable. I really wanna enjoy the movie. And I also didn't do nothing that I, like, I didn't drink or anything before going to this movie because I really want to watch the movie. And I kind of feel like if I were to take a shot or anything, I would be in that movie theater to sleep, especially because I'm bringing a blanket. And I already got my, like I keep telling y'all, I already got my popcorn and my drink ordered. So everything really, really set for me at this movie theater. And I'm already going by myself. So, I mean, I really don't want to go in there and be going to sleep. So I'm finna, but I really, really hope this movie ain't that scary. Like, I know it's going to be scary, but I hope it's not that, that scary. Like, it, it's going to be scary, but like, but keep that shit to a minimum, bitch. Um, but from the preview, from the trailer that I seen, like it really, really looked like a really good movie. Like basically, the man, the saw, the jigsaw man, the reason he even doing any of this is because the they the people tricked him. Like they had cured his fucking cancer when really they didn't cure a motherfucking thing. They cured his nerves. That was about a motherfucking it. So I get this man wanting to get revenge on these folks because, bitch, you tell me that you cured my motherfucking cancer and I come back. Years down the line, and these folks tell me I still got counsel. And you think I'm not finna come tap your ass? Yeah, all right. So this man, but he did it on a whole nother level. Like, the the trailer really showed, like, majority of the gruesome parts. And I'm just like, oh, my God. But I'm just going to get on my probably doing no part. I'm, I'm either going like, to. But honestly, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Scary moves really don't bother me that much. Like, it's the, it's the shit that, like, that can happen in real life that bothers me. Like a drive-by or um, somebody, mm, that can, it could happen in real life, but that's really, like y'all know in those movies when the people be walking up behind you and put the stuff over your nose and snatch you and put you in the trunk. So you mean to tell me ain't nobody see this man put me in the trunk? Like, I don't really think that's realistic. Like, I, I just genuinely don't think that, I mean, I know it happens in real life, but Somebody seen it. Like, you mean to tell me nobody seen it? Like, I don't think that's... Anywho, in real life, I'm, I'm scared of real life stuff, not the stuff that happens in the movies. Like, no. So, this it shouldn't really bother me that much. And like I told y'all, if the movie get boring or I just, you know, get tired of seeing it, all I'm going to do is just get on my phone or eat my popcorn and drink my drink and shut the hell up because that's all I really can do. But, anywho, y'all, like I told y'all, it's already like nine... 
35 ish. So my movie started in like a minute. <laughs> my movie started like a minute. I'm so weak. My movie started in like a minute. I mean, like like 20 some minutes at this point. Um, so I'm finna go ahead and go. I just really wanted to go ahead and record this part because probably when I get in my car, it's dark outside. So I didn't want to get in my car and y'all will not be able to see me. Um, so enjoy my little B-roll or whatever because I'm sure when I get to the movies and all that stuff. And then I'm going to tell y'all, like, I'm going to give y'all like, my, my little review when I come back home and all that stuff. Okay, not diamond on speakerphone. This don't make no sense. But okay, y'all. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. So y'all, I've been sitting here for like the past hour maybe because the movie ended already and it was definitely a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Please go take somebody. Take somebody on a date. Take your friend. Whoever you got to take. Saw X was definitely a good movie. The only thing that pissed me off like when going to so y'all, let me give y'all my whole, the whole spiel. So as y'all know, I had ordered my popcorn and my drink before the movie even, I even went into the movie. So that was already paid for and stuff. But I should have known, like, if 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 a movie theater offer you a, a anything $6, you just know it's going to be, like, bite size. Y'all, that shit was so small. But I can't even complain because the popcorn ended up being enough for me. I ain't going to lie. I ain't, I ain't really need a big bucket of popcorn any fuck away. And I didn't even need that much drink because... I had just had food earlier, so I really wasn't too hungry, so it really wasn't that bad. But they gave me that little bitty pack of fruit snacks. Like, that really was fucking childish as fuck to me. But anyways, so the little bitch sitting next to me, um, it was a... So, yeah, I went to the movies by myself. That's number one. So, I was... My seat was on the edge. Like, I was the last seat on the left. And so, the seat to the right of me, you know, the little girl... She was like nine, ten, maybe eight, maybe I don't know how old she was. So it was her and her friend, her sister, whatever. I don't really know who, what, what she was. But I'm like, okay. So and I know y'all gonna say, well, how she got into the movie? Like she's not old enough, obviously. It's rated R. Her parents were in the theater, but they were sitting so far at the, so far away from them. They wasn't like close to them, which is stupid to me because. They not old enough to be seen by themselves. That's just my opinion. But hey, I'm not a I'm not a fucking parent yet. I can't tell nobody how to govern and and um teach their kids. But what I will say is, her, they her parents should have at least told her not to be on her phone during the movie. Like y'all, I kid y'all not. When the movie was getting ready to start, this little helpful, and she had an Android, so she went on Facetime. This little helper got on Zoom, Uvu, or Skype, or whatever the fuck Androids use to video chat. This hoe got on video chat with her friend, trying to let her friend watch the movie. I'm looking at this bitch like, if you don't turn that motherfucking phone off, like, with all that goddamn noise, I'm trying to hear the motherfucking movie. Like, that is so motherfucking rude. Like, why would you even think that was okay to do? And why would, like, your parents don't have common sense to tell you to not to be on video chat during the fucking movie? If you're going to do some shit like that, watch the movie at home because what the fuck? So y'all just got to know that kind of pissed me off. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm not going to say nothing because this is a little child. I'm not going to say nothing. This is a little child. This is a little child. This is a little fucking child. This is a little fucking child. Kept having to remind myself. So eventually the bitch got the hint and I guess she hung up the phone. Um, So after that, the movie was actually really, really good. It kind of was... I ain't going to say it was drawn out, but I, I understand where John Kramer was coming from. Like, mm, I ain't going to spoil it, but I understand where he was coming from. You don't tell somebody you're going to do something for them. That's just like me telling my mama 
I'm going to wash her car and she paid me to wash her car and I don't do the service. So I understand completely 100% where John Kramer is coming from because you don't pay for a service that you don't get done. So I would kill a motherfucker too. But you damn right. You damn skippy. But I do have a real, real question. Like, who the fuck created Saul? Because you bitches need to be in jail. Because who the fuck be coming up with these concepts and these designs and these traps and all that? Like, you motherfuckers are crazy and loony. And y'all need to be in motherfucking jail. Because what the fuck is really going on with you guys? Like, that that is some crazy shit to do to somebody. And then the plot twist at the end, it got me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, John Kramer, he really be giving people the benefit of the doubt. Like, he uh, he will, he gonna let you play yourself in the end. Because he already know. And them, all I can say is they played themselves. Um, it was really a good-ass movie. Like, it was definitely a 10 out of 10. If I don't do shit else and if I don't recommend nothing else, that movie was definitely a 10 out of 10. So, today has really been a good day for me because... Burger Born was a definitely a 10 out of 10. That motherfucking burger was so motherfucking good. I don't even know if I told y'all about it, but I had got the Hawaiian burger from Burger Born. I had got the Hawaiian burger and I took off the I took off the sriracha mayo sauce, whatever. And I took off the Swiss cheese, because I don't really eat cheese on my hamburgers. And I added lettuce and it came with tomatoes and it came with uh a pineapple on there, which was really kind of strange, but it was really, really ended up really ended up being really, really good. Excuse me, actually. It really ended up being good. And I added my own little ketchup to it. Mm. Excuse me. And I had cheese fries. I asked for cheese bacon fries, but I guess they didn't get the hint that I wanted the bacon. She talked to me. I thought you said cheese fries. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. I don't really care. The cheese fries was really good, too. Like, the whole meal was a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. The whole day for real, for real is a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. So, whenever y'all get time, make sure y'all check out Burger Barn and Saw X. I am not being sponsored by any of that, but I think y'all should check it out because it was definitely a 10 out of 10. If, it, if I'm saying it was 10 out of 10, y'all better recommend it. Like, y'all better believe it. I'm recommending it. Like, because I don't really recommend too many places. Like, and I'm I'm going to tell you something nasty. And Burger Barn was really, really good. And Salt X was really a good movie. But, y'all, anyways, I've come to the end of this vlog. Um, I hope y'all really enjoyed spending the day with me and you know so anywho see y'all in the next vlog make sure y'all like subscribe if you ain't subscribed yet what you doing because if you're not my cousin what are you y'all need to be my cousins we supposed to be linked we supposed to be in this for life cousins i need y'all support and y'all help please get me to the next level i'm gonna see y'all in the next video though cousins Thank you. Good night. Bye.